In this video, you are going to learn a little bit about how you can modify the columns and the rows in a Google Sheet. So I have a sheet of data here that I found on the internet. So I believe that it's all kind of random. And we are going to play with this a little bit. So you can see how you can manipulate these rows and columns. I do want to reiterate that um, it's very easy to um, change the name of a sheet. And that is helpful because if you search in Google Drive for a sheet, you um, search by words or tags or terms, and um, you need to have some of those terms by which you will recall and search um, as the title of your document. So if you want to change the document title, what you simply need to do is click on it and you can highlight a portion of it. You can rename it. So perhaps that I would want to call this Hopkins uh, Student Athletes. If I think these are some of the tag words by which I would search for this particular sheet. All right, so that's just one reminder. Let's talk about manipulating the rows and the columns. First thing I want to show you is how do you change the width of a column? So for example, if you look at column D, it's much wider than it needs to be. There's a lot of white space in there. You can hover between two columns. You can actually do this with rows as well. And you can see that your cursor will change. I'm going to hold it there for a second so you can see that your cursor changes um, so that it looks like an arrow pointing one way or the other. When you see the cursor change, if you click and drag either left or right, you can increase or de decrease the width of the column. So I'm going to drag left and you're going to notice that I made that a more narrow column. So that you can do if you have a lot of columns you don't want to have these really wide columns taking up a lot of space. You're going to want to make them as narrow as possible. All right, um, there's another way to do this. If you hover between uh, the border between two columns, if you double click, it will automatically collapse or narrow that column based on whatever is the uh, longest bit of text in any of the cells in the column. So you saw how that worked there. So if this was a really long column or wide one and I wanted to quickly make it um, more narrow, I double click and I can make it more narrow. What about if you need another column? So suddenly you're like, oh, wait a minute, I want to keep track of um, the phone number or the parent's name. If you want to do that, you could click on any column and you have the ability to add a column to the right or to the left of the column that you selected. So I selected column E by clicking on the letter E. I can go to the insert menu and insert a column left or right. A second way to do that is if you hover over a, a column, you get a pull down menu of options. You can insert a column left or right. Notice that you can also delete the column. You can clear the contents of it, or you can temporarily hide it. So I'm going to just insert a column left, and I'm going to put in parent's name. And then I'm going to type in a name for Alexander's parents are um, Gwendolyn and Rodney. All right. So what else can you do? How do you move rows and columns? Well, this is a little bit tricky. So again, you got to look at your cursor. If I want to change, like interchange Becky and Benjamin, right now Benjamin is on the bottom and Becky is listed on top, you can hover or click. And if you see that hand, so I click on Becky and you see how my cursor changes to the hand. When you have the hand, you can use that to move rows and columns. So I can click and drag Becky down. Notice that line go from Becky goes down under Benjamin, let go, and I've moved that row. Let me do that with a column as well. So let's say I want to take the home state and I want that to be the last column to the right. I click on that column header or the D and now I have to, you have to have the hand. See if I hover over the D, I have the hand. Click, hold it down, drag, watch that line until the line will go to where you want to drop it, to move it. Bada bing, now home state is over there. All right, um, 
wrapping text. Notice that in my parents column that the text is wrapping. Um, this is the tool to wrap text. When text wrapping is turned on, you will see that particular symbol right there. Let me turn text wrapping off. That's how you can turn it off. And when you turn off, oops, excuse me, I'm on the wrong column, so I have to go to column D. And I'm going to turn text wrapping off. Well, this is what happens. If you turn text wrapping off, your the text, if it's long, is going to bleed outside the width of the text. Of course, you can always open and widen your column, but let's say you want a narrow column. If you have a narrow column and you want the text to wrap, you're going to use this tool right here. So you highlight the column by clicking on, in that case, the D, and you click on text wrapping and you choose wrap. And that will sometimes help you so that if you have a lot of columns and you need to keep them narrow, you still get all that information in that column. Notice that when you wrap text in a column, you get a, um, a bigger row or like row two is going to be wider because you have to fit more text in there to wrap it. All right, last thing you may choose to do is to merge cells. Um, I don't see a good reason why I'd want to merge cells here, but if I did, I could. So let's take this header right here. If I wanted to merge those two cells, I could click on this tool to merge them. And it's giving me a warning um, because there's data in both of those cells. And now you want to know, well, are you sure you want to merge those two? I click OK, and I've lost um, one of my headers in there. But I could change this to extracurricular and state. And now that's a merged, um, two cells merged together into one. You got to be a little careful with that. You want to make sure that you really want to do the merging um, because now the sorting is kind of weird if I were going to sort by either column, but it is something you can do.